Hey guys, it's me again, Shonda. <clears throat> Excuse the voice, it's just, it's, it's not working today. <laughs> but I wanted to come on here and talk about the heart. Have you guys ever heard or ever said, girl, I'm just, I'm just, you know, going to go with how my heart feels or deep down in my heart, my heart feels that I should do this or I should, you know, choose to do this or, you know, things like that. Have you ever said anything like that? I have me right here. I've said it and coming, I've come to know that Doing that is not the right way to make your choices. It's not the right way to choose what you what you should do, especially like life decisions and things like that. God is like the ultimate director. He is the person that you need to consult when it comes to life decisions and places that you should go and things that you should do as far as purpose as your purpose goes. I am, as you know, so, so all about purpose. And the only person that you really can consult about your purpose and um, your future is the person that created you and the person that really created your future. And of course, yes, yes, you have a choice. God gave us all free will to choose what we would like to do. But the best advice that I think I can give you is really to consult the creator of the world, the, the person that created you, the person that can tell you all the hairs that are on your head, the amount, how long they are, what they look like, all that stuff. So don't try not to make choices with your heart i mean scripture says that out of your heart flows the issues of life so if you're trying to make a decision um let's say about like a job and you're saying man my heart says oh this job has a lot of money i'm gonna be able to buy all the shoes i want or the clothes i want but you haven't prayed you haven't asked god god what do you think about this even though your heart is saying hey girl you should go for that you should go for that you should go for that your heart is probably flowing out of all the issues that you have in your finances. You're thinking about your children and how your children are going to have clothes and food. You're thinking about how you're going to ball out of control because you got this really cool job. But God is saying, listen, mm -mm, this job isn't for you. This job is, is, is an attack from the enemy. He's trying to take you off course of what your true purpose is. You're not going to be able to reach people there because that's not the place that I have for you. So it's so important to really go for what God is saying above what your heart is saying. I, I, I encourage you to really just ask God, God, give me a clean heart. Give me a heart that is just really after you that when I need to make these decisions or when I need to, to find out what to do, I'm seeking you first above my heart. I'm turning down the flesh. I'm, I'm, I'm not even listening to what my mind or my heart wants me to do, but I'm listening to you above everything else, above all the other noise. It's so important that we really should declutter from all the noise. I mean, now in this day and age, we have social media, we have reality TV, we just have just a whole plethora of things that we can be focused on. And really, that th those things seep down into our heart and it really gets in there because that's what we're feeding our minds. We're feeding our, 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 our hearts and our flesh and stuff like that. So we have to really be careful with how we decide to do things and what our heart is saying and what God is saying, what the Holy Spirit is saying to us. So that's really, really important. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about that. Um, um, you're not alone. I mean, oftentimes... There's, there isn't anyone that is perfect. We're all trying to seek, well, I shouldn't say that. There isn't anyone that is perfect. A lot of us are really trying to seek after God and go after what his heart is desiring for us above what our hearts are desiring for ourselves. Um, I, for one, I'll say it, like, I, I'm human. I mess up sometimes, but I recognize that God is merciful and I'm so grateful that he loves me not because I'm so special I'm so holy but I'm his creation he's he's our father he's my father 
you know and so he loves me and I'm, I'm truly grateful for that so and because I know that I can trust him because he's proved it over and over again and because I know that that he is God I choose to pick up you know myself and try it again try to do it right try to ha allow God to show me the path that I should take and not listen to my heart because this heart wants whatever it wants. This heart wants, you know, things that are not good for my heart. <laughs> things that are not good for me. Things that have no, no place in my future. No place in my purpose and my calling. So the best thing that I can do, the best thing that we can do is go and sit down at the feet of the father and really just just pour out before him and allow him to speak to us and tell us what it is that we need to do and sometimes it's not going to be the easiest thing to do what he's asking us to do or asking us to turn away from but ultimately it's for our good all of it is working together for the good of those who love god so that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. We have a lot of, I have a lot of um, encouraging words on here. I do a lot of different things. I plan to do makeup, beauty, all those things. I love hauls and I love above everything else is to talk about Jesus. I'm very transparent on this channel. So if you like that, go ahead and subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.